Bernstein Bears Go Back to School by Stan and Jan Bernstein. Look, there's the school bus. Stan and Jan Bernstein with my Bernstein. Oh look, here's here's Mama. She's got the kids in bed, got their backpack ready, all their clothes are laid out. And she's gonna wake them up. When summer ends and the air tur turns cool, the time has come to go back to school. Sister and brother bear, all clean and neat, wait at the bus stop just up the street. Cousin Fred and Lizzie are waiting there too with some kindergartners. For them, this is new. So there they are, it's his school, school bus stop. And look, he's kind of leaning out, looking to see if the school bus is coming. And there's Mama and Papa saying bye for school. Oh look, she's waving back right here. When down the road comes a big orange bus, and there at the wheel is bus driver Gus. Love it. it says Bear County School. School bus stop. The bus slows down. Its lights flash red. Now brother and sister and Lizzie and Fred all climb aboard. They're on their way to Bear County School on this very special first day. See, he has to stop. See, all the traffic has to stop. All the cars are supposed to stop. And the kids get on. They climb up the stairs, find their seat, and have a and sit down. As they pass their house, Cub sisters, sister and brother, smile and wave to their father and mother. Oh, look, they can see them on the bus, so they wave. Down the sunny dirt road, waving just up ahead, is Bear County School, newly painted bright red. So here they go, going down the road. They're going to go up to the school and see, there's the school. Oh, I like their playground. Their swings, and these are called teeter-totters here, and they have hander ball bars there. You can climb up and down. Can you find those squirrels in the picture? I see two squirrels. Can you find them? Yep, there they are. One, two. The classrooms are waiting for the day to begin. All dusted and polished and neat as a pen. The whiteboards are waiting for the whine and screech of markers welded by teachers with lessons to teach. It's the first day of school for all teachers too. One of the teachers is brand spanking new. Miss Polly's her name. She tries to stay cool even though it's also her first day of school. So there she is, Miss Polly. Welcome to second grade, Miss Polly. So she has all the books ready, whiteboards all ready, there's all the desk. And look, she has fish over here. She has an aquarium. And now here they come, right up Schoolhouse Drive. The big orange bus buses are all about to arrive. Now off the buses, the cubs, cubs come a pouring. Torrents of students all cheering and roaring. The schoolyard was empty the whole summer long, but now it's alive with a noisy cub throng. Cubs playing tag, cubs jumping rope, kindergartners doing their very best to cope. So look at all these school buses all lined up, up and they drop them off and they back up and go on their way and then the next one drops off the kids. See, they're all playing around here and then this is the kindergartners are just kind of looking around to see what's going on. Yikes, the two tall, 
the two tall Genghis headed this way to tease all the cubs who are smaller than they. Here comes Mr. Grismeyer, who coaches sports. Report to my office, Mr. Grismeyer snorts. See, he's kind of coming this way and just pushing the kids. Not very nice. The sound of the bell cuts through all the noise of a whole schoolyard teeming with cub girls and boys. Cubs get into line according to size, checking out new backpacks and cool school supplies. Don't you love it? They all have their new backpacks, new school supplies. Love going to the store, getting all those new school supplies. It's a lot of fun. Nothing has changed as they march through the halls. The very same pictures still hang on the walls. The principal's bench, where naughty cubs wait, sitting so quietly awaiting their fate. I bet that's it right there. That's the principal's chair is right here. I think that's his office. The sports trophy case, all filled with prizes, gold cups and ribbons of various sizes. See, all the trophies. There's teacher Jane greeting her new class, welcoming every cub lad and lass, and all out of breath from one last game of tag, all cubs pledge allegiance to our country's flag. Teacher Jane, welcome to first grade. So let's see if we can say the Pledge of Allegiance. So this is what you'd say. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And they say that every morning. Then as she writes the lesson of the day, a stray paper airplane flies her way. So there it goes. You know, I've, I've got eyes in the back of my head, says Teacher Jane to Naughty Cub Ned. And it's just, and it's just possible that she may be had. She does always know just who's being bad. <laughs> so he's picturing that she has uh, eyes, really does have eyes back there. So she's doing math. So one plus one equals two. Meanwhile, in grade three, just up the way, Teacher Bob starts out this way. Third grade is hard. Third grade is tough. There's no more easy first grade-ish stuff. Look, Teacher Bob, welcome to third grade. Then he has another sign on his, on his desk, Teacher Bob. Got his pencils, has his pen in his pocket. And look, he's going like, yikes. There'll be geography, geography and math and science, book reports, history and self-reliance. Vocabulary words, as long as your arm. The third graders listened with growing alarm. Gulp, says Brother Bear. Groan, says Freddy, both wondering whether they are really quite ready. Wow. Third graders listening with, oh. <laughs> he said, vocabulary words, as long as your arm. Boy, that would be a long word, wouldn't it? The recess bell rings. Hooray, hooray! Go out to the Cubs to run and to play. Hopscotch, dodgeball, king of the hill. How about Queen? Proposes Cub Jill. So the king of the hill. How about Queen of the hill? I'll tell you what, says sister to Lizzie. Let's wind up the swings and let's get all dizzy. See, they wound them all up and then they go back around. The bell rings again. There's work to be done. Though school is a challenge, it can also be fun. Before long comes the, the ring of the closing bell. Both cubs and teachers have done pretty well. Cubs hop, hop on the bus at the end of the day, heading for home. The bus knows the way. So there you go again on the bus. You have to make sure that you know the number of your bus. So the number of your bus, well, you can write it down somewhere or have your teacher write it down 
or your mom and dad write it down, but each bus has a number on it. So you make sure you look at the number on the bus so you get on the right bus. To the treehouse where Mama and Papa are waiting, off the bus come the cups noisily celebrating. So there they are, waiting for him to come home. It's fantastic. I bet she has a snack ready for him too. Says brother, we made a pretty good start. Look, says sister, I did this in art. How lovely, says mama, it's only home sweet home. It's our home sweet tree. After supper, some homework and a bit of TV. The cubs lie awake in their double deck bed. Both are thinking about the fun day, days ahead. There is so much to do, there's so much to know. There are so many ways to learn and to grow. Here they have a nice little lamp over here, little night lights. So they lie awake thinking the first day, the first school day night about places to go and stories to write, about saving the forest, about cleaning the air, about getting along with their fellow bear. They could dig up old bones, discover new creatures, save the well and the condor, hey, maybe be teachers. But before very long, now they are dozing. Brothers and sisters' eyes are now closing, and so does sleep. Sleep tight is the rule. There's a big day tomorrow, the second day of school. I love it. It's good night at the Bernstein Bear House, tree house. And for more books and a lot of resources, you can go to homeschoolforlife.org. Thank you very much.